Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we will be seeing problems on dynamically equivalent system. The concept of dynamically equivalent system is uh, explained clearly in the previous video. So now in this video, we will be seeing two basic problems. The connecting rod of a gasoline engine is 300 mm long between its center. So this is the connecting rod. Here we will be having the small end and here we will be having the bigger end. The distance between the center is given as 300 mm. It has a mass 15 kg. So M is equal to 15 kg and length is 300 mm. And mass moment of inertia, that is I is equal to 7000 kg mm square. Its center of gravity is at a, its center of gravity is at a distance of 200 mm from its small end center. So G value, center of gravity is at 200 mm from the small end. Determine the dynamical equivalent two mass system of the connecting rod if one of the masses is located at the small end center. So they are clearly given that the mass, uh, one mass is located at uh, small end center and another mass is located, located at big end center, which will be at a distance of L1 and the distance is also very clearly given, that is 200 mm. So now we need to determine the uh, L2 distance and uh, masses of both the system. So connecting rod we saw in the diagram. So K means uh, Kg is the radius of variation of the connecting rod about an axis passing through its center of gravity. So we know the mass moment of inertia formula. I is equal to mk square. So I, I value we can uh, get from the given data. And mass is also given in the given data, 15 kg. And kg, kg that is radius of variation, we need to calculate. So keep the radius of variation alone uh, on one side and take everything to the other side. So finally, you will be getting a value of uh, 21.6 millimeter because uh, here it's square right we need to take a square root and finally get the value as 21.6 whatever I mean you use the calculator and just get the value uh, it is clearly given that one of the masses is located at small end so let us consider the other mass is placed at distance of L2 from the center of gravity so we know the formula for uh, these formulas we already derived in a previous video so this is one of the condition for a system to be an equal dynamic system. This is the third condition that is L1 and L2 will be equal to uh, kg that is radius of gyration square. So we know the value of radius of gyration and L1 we know. So we can find the value of L2. So bring the L1 to the denominator and substitute all the known values and you will be getting a L2, L2 as 2.33 millimeter. So M1 is the mass placed at the small end from the small end center. And M2 is the mass placed at a distance of L2 from the center of gravity G. So M1 and M2, we have the formula. So these formula also we have already derived. So we know the formula for M1 and M2. So this is the formula. And we know all the values, substitute L2, M and L1 and L2, all the values and get the value get the mass as 0.17 kg. Same while for M2, we know the formula, substitute the known values and you will be getting 14.83 kg. In next sum, a connecting rod actually here some disturbance uh, is there a connecting rod is suspended okay suspended from a point 25 mm from 25 mm above the center of the small end so a connecting rod is suspended from the center 25 mm above and 650 mm above its center of gravity so height will be 650 mm so its center of gravity uh, it is uh, i mean suspended from a height of 650 mm from the center of gravity and its mass being its mass being 37.5 kg. So M is equal to 37.5 kg. H is 650 mm. So convert into meter. If you want to know the uh, length of L1, that is uh, mass situated from distance L1, right? So if you want to know means we know that the height is 650 and uh, here the small distance is 25, right? So L1 is total distance. Sub, uh, if you subtract 25 from the total distance, you will be getting the value of L1. So from here to here, 650. And here small distance will be having 25. So if you want the remaining distance, the remaining distance is L1. So L, if you want to know the L1 distance, then subtract 25 mm from 650. So you'll be getting the L1 value. Mass is given in the question. When permitted to oscillate, the time period is found to be 1.87 seconds. So TP, time period is 1.87 seconds. Find the dynamical equivalent system constituted of two masses. So there are two masses. One will be at small end and another one will be, one will be at bigger end. One of which is, uh, they have given clearly, one of which is located at the smaller, small end center. So first of all, we need to determine the radius of gyration. 
so we know actually they have clear that uh, given that uh, it is permitted to oscillate so we can consider it as an uh, compound pendulum so compound pendulum we know the formula for time period so time period is equal to 2 pi root of uh, radius of gyration square plus h square divided by g into h uh, so we know the value of time period and we know the value of uh, g value 9.81 h value we have got in terms of meter and uh, just substitute all the values and here we will be squaring on both so if you want to remove means you just square on both the sides and determine the value for radius of gyration and you will be getting a value as 0.377 meter so it's a simple basic calculation if you just have a glance means you can easily understand next uh, we need to determine the uh, length of l2 ride so it's a uh, so it's given clearly that uh, one of the MOSs is located at a uh, small end center. So other MOS is obviously will be located at a distance of L2 from center of gravity. So this is the third condition. So we saw in equal and dy dynamically equivalent system, this is the third condition. So L1, L2 equal to kg, that is radius of gyration square. So if you want L2 means just bring L1 down, denominator. So k value you know, L1 value you know, you just substitute and get the value for L2. And M1 and M2 are the two masses. M1 will be placed at a distance of L1 from center of gravity. And M2 is a mass which will be placed at a distance of L2 from center of gravity. So we know the formula for M1 and M2. So this uh, same we saw in previous problem also. So we know very well know the formula. And we know all the values. So just substitute all the values and determine the mass for M1 and mass for M2. Uh, do subscribe to my channel Mechanical Motivator and press the bell icon. Then only you will be getting all the videos which I upload. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.